Hey everybody, this is Jason with Game Dev Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create this rolling fog or cloud effect in Construct 2. It will work in Construct 3 as well, but I only have Construct 2. It's really super easy, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in Construct now and I have this little side scroller template open that I downloaded. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. The only thing I've changed is I made the background completely black so we can see the fog more easily when we put it in the game. So what you'll need to do is go online and look for paint.net which is completely free image editing software that we'll use to create our fog effect. Once you have it, open it up and you'll get a screen that looks like this. And you'll want to come over here to the layers and click this add new layer button. And then we can delete the original background layer. Now we have this transparent layer. All we're going to do is go up to effects, render, clouds, and you'll see this pop up. I think the default settings here are fine. If you want you can hit reseed and it sort of randomizes the way it looks. And I'll click OK. We just need to save the image now. So we'll just call it fog. And it's very important that you save it as a PNG file. So once we've named it and selected PNG, we'll just click save. This uh, save configuration will pop up and it's fine how it is. We'll click OK. And that's all we need to do in paint.net. Now we have to get the paint.net cloud into construct. So We'll right click, insert new object, and we want to insert a sprite. And let's go ahead and name the sprite while we're here. We'll name it Fog, and we'll insert it. The image editor will pop up. This is where you would normally draw um, any sprites, but we're going to be importing one that we've already made. So we'll go up to load an image from a file, this button right up top. Click it and navigate to wherever you saved your fog image. We'll double click it and now it is in the construct engine. But it's not quite ready to use yet. It's a little uh, harsh around the edges. So we need to go around and soften the edges up. So I've already got this set up to do um, You'll click the eraser tool and set the size to about 500 and the hardness to zero. What you want to do is just softly go around the edges. And it's important that you don't click and drag because then it makes really harsh edges. So you'll want to do just one mouse click at a time. our cloud but it's kind of crazy looking right now what we need to do is lower the opacity on it so we'll come over with the fog selected we'll come over to opacity and lower it to about 25 and I could even stretch it out some Let me snap to grid now we need to give it a couple of behaviors. Um, so we'll go to behaviors, click this plus sign, and we want to give it a bullet behavior. And this is what is going to actually make it scroll across the screen. The default speed of 400 is going to be way too fast. So 
I would put that at about 25. Of course, it will depend on your project, but for this one, 25 seems to work pretty well. And then we will also need to add the destroy outside layout behavior. So a couple of effects I like to add. I guess technically it's just one effect, but you have to do blur horizontal and blur vertical. And that sort of softens it up a bit. Now all you really have to do is place them. Okay, now they're all placed. Let's just test it out. And I'll just run across the level. That's fine for now, but if we go all the way back to the left, we'll see that the fog has stopped because all of the bullets have now moved to the right. So we need to create a little system to create some fog. We need to create another object, another sprite, and I'm going to call this fog spawner. We can insert that and we'll just color it red. We'll put it off to the side and this is where we're going to tell the logic to create the fog. So we'll go into our events. You'll say system every x seconds and for this I'm going to just try 15. We want to system create an object. The object to create is going to be fog. It's going to ask what layer. In my case it's going to be layer I think zero would be the background layer so I'll leave that alone. And for the X coordinate, we're going to say fog spawner dot X. And for Y, we're going to use the choose expression. So type in choose and then parenthesis. And then for the first value, we'll put fog spawner dot Y, comma, and then fog spawner dot y and we'll say minus 75 so it will randomly spawn above the center and then we'll also do fog spawner dot y plus 75 so it will randomly spawn below the center of the fog spawner so if we go back into the game Hit play. After 15 seconds, another um, fog sprite should spawn off screen and roll in. So it's been 13 seconds. So now another one. It spawned kind of on the screen, like where it's really noticeable. So what we can do is just back this up some. We'll try that again. So it's been 15 seconds, so there should be some fog rolling in, and there it is. Now you can fine tune these numbers to where if you didn't want any um, black empty space right there, you could get the timing down perfectly. But that's about it as far as creating a cool fog effect in your game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. Uh, and I'll see you next time.